How you guys doing? I'm Preston with DIY Hunter. We're gonna do a little bit of broadhead tuning. Broadhead tuning your bow. What that means, some myths that we've found, which may be true for certain broadheads, and some truths that we've also found. So one of the things I'm gonna do here is go over how I broadhead tune a bow and what that's gonna consist of. So the first thing I'm gonna do, I actually have my broadhead. What I'm gonna be shooting is not what I'm hunting with this year, but my new order has not come in yet. In the past, for my western hunts, I shot Slick Trick. Um, I think they're a one inch cutting diameter. They're very small, very, very low profile, which I will tell you does make a difference. In the past, we have found the larger the broadhead, the more the rudder that you have in the front, and the more that that is gonna plane, and things that can affect that are different size fletchings, three grain, or three blade, four blade, um, wind. That is gonna act like a front rudder, which is gonna allow that arrow to plane more drastically than a field point, meaning if your field point's missing a hair right, the broadhead's gonna probably miss a lot more right. So what we're gonna do is show you how we test that and what we do. Now this year, we're gonna be shooting the Grim Reaper, the Micro Hades. I've always shot Grim Reaper mechanicals. Sorry about the motorcycle flying by there. I've always shot Grim Reaper mechanicals and we're gonna go to the Micro Hades this year, which is also, I believe, a one and one sixteenth cutting diameter. Um, we're big proponents on the fixed blades for smaller is better, depending on how far you're going to be shooting. For us, some western hunting, we might be shooting 50, 60, 70 yards. We want as little as possible for that wind resistance because anything up front is going to be trying to fly the arrow versus allowing the fletchings to fly the arrow. So if you're a big broadhead shooter, fixed blade, and you're hunting out west a lot, you may really want to look into the four fletching. I've seen guys even doing five fletchings really test out and tune that bow to see what can propel that arrow the best. Um, we've also found the heavier the weight up front, I think I'm around close to 200 grains in the front tip of the arrow, also is gonna allow that fixed blade to fly better because it's gonna pull the arrow versus push the arrow. So we're gonna get to it. This is how we shoot a fixed blade tuning to see if your bow is tuned to spec because what you don't wanna do is get out there on that game of, game of a lifetime, you miss because you, you didn't have your arrow tuned. So first what I did, you can see downrange, I set up a target 20 yards. 20 yards is gonna show you if you're at least close. And I'm gonna shoot the fixed blade first, because if I shoot the field point first, and then I hit it with the fixed blade, I can cut fletchings, cut arrow, and I don't wanna do that. So I'm gonna shoot the, the uh, fixed blade broadhead first, and we're gonna see where that hits, and then we're gonna shoot the field point, and we're gonna see where that hits. And we'll walk you down and compare and contrast. Well, that ain't good, guys. I just punched. I just punched my arrow through the center of the target all the way into the fence in the back of the wall. But I did see right where it hit, so I'm going to show you guys out on the film. I had a luminoc on it, and I saw it plain as day. I think I need a new broadhead target. Sucker's only a year old. Okay, so we shot two, and our field point hit about an inch and a half to the right of what the fixed blade did. Now, I'm not going to tune this specifically because my broadheads are gonna be in, but I'm gonna shoot it again, and if it hits off again, I'm gonna discuss with you exactly what we would do to tune this. And I forgot to mention earlier, make sure you always spin test your broadheads, meaning get them onto a hard surface, cup it just lightly in your fingers and give it a good spin and make sure that those are pivoting correctly because if they are not, that arrow may not be flying straight and that might not be something that you wanna be shooting. Could be the broadhead, could even be the arrow. So we're gonna shoot one more round, see where they hit, and then we're gonna go from there based on the results. If they're consistent with the first one, we'll change. Okay guys, so we got the same results on the first two shots out of the way, Remy. My dog's in the way here. We got the same results both times that we were shooting. And what I want to show you here is I do need to sight in my 20 pin again because my 20 pin, I just reset a bunch of weight on my arrows and they're not sighted in. 
and what are we gonna show you? No, stop. So, as you can see here, this is because this weighs 25 grains more, but I gotta recite in, I shot two rounds. The fixed blade, this is the fixed blade, here's the field point. The field point on both shots hit roughly two inches to the right. So both shots I hit, my field point hit two inches to the right of my fixed blade. And I'm gonna show you why that's relative and how we fix that. All right guys, so we determined that our field point was hitting two inches to the right of the fixed blades. I know a couple of my weights are off and a couple of my pins are off, but they consistently were doing the same thing, which means once I tune my 20 pin and my weights are consistent on the arrows, they're gonna hit identically. So, that being said, what you wanna do now, most people would shoot the broadhead, the broadhead would miss, so forth, and they would think, okay, I'm gonna change all my pins. That is not what you wanna do. What you wanna do is come into your rest and there's a teeny little, <clears throat> depending on which rest you have, with mine, it's quite simple. There's an Allen wrench right here and I can micro adjust it left and right. Now here's the important part. When you're adjusting that rest, what you wanna do is always go toward the direction that you missed. Meaning, my field point was hitting in the center of the target, my fixed blade was hitting two inches to the left you always wanna go opposite or toward where you wanna hit, meaning that fixed blade hit left, we wanna move that rest right. So what I'm gonna do is make a micro adjustment. We're talking 1 32nd of an inch to 1 16th, and I'm gonna take toward the field point, so toward where you wanna hit. My fixed blade hit left, I want it to hit right, I'm gonna slide that rest right, and I'm talking, guys, micro adjustment. And then what you wanna do is tighten that back down, shoot it again at 20 yards, that gap should tighten up quite drastically, and then you can bump back, shoot at 30, see if that gap opens up again. If it does, do another micro adjustment in. And I'm talking very, very small, guys. Just feather that rest over just a hair, tighten it back down, and so forth, the 40, 50, and you should be able to bring those gaps in almost specific, or almost pinpoint right on top of one another. Now, if that's not the issue, and the arrows are kicking or torquing, and you're missing high and low, and they're kind of all over the map. That's something you might want to go see your bow shop for. That could be a multitude of other things. Could be poor flex in the spine. You might have too much weight up front. It might be the fletchings that aren't holding up with the size of the broadhead on the front. There's a multitude. But for pure broadhead tuning, if you're grouping, because that's all we're looking for is groups, this is going to be your simple solution that you can do in your yard. You don't have to go to the bow shop for. Um, if you don't feel comfortable for, with doing it, I still recommend going to make sure everything's coming out okay. But this is how we broadhead tune our bows. It always seems to work. Um, the key to it, the whole thing is making sure you're consistently hitting on target to begin with. Because if you're not hitting on target to begin with, these arrows aren't gonna tune correctly. They're gonna come out spitting all over the place. So I hope this tip was helpful, guys. I know this is how we do it. And I think it's a big oversight a lot of times that people don't see. And I apologize for not adjusting my rest and showing you, but again, I'm waiting for them broadheads to come in. Um, they're a pretty small diameter, so I'm thinking I'm gonna be hitting dead on because we've messed around tuning my bow quite a bit this summer. So I don't wanna adjust my rest until I have those broadhead blades in. But this gives you the general concept of how to do it. So I hope that helps you out, guys. Stay tuned. If you like this, please, guys, click subscribe, comment in the below. Let us know what you wanna see next, and stay tuned for next week's video. Remember, when you're out there in the yard, you're shooting, you're hunting, you're doing all kinds of stuff, always be original. Thanks a lot, guys.